The first epistle to the Thessalonians, usually referred to simply as 1 Thessalonians, written 1 Thessalonians, and abbreviated 1 Thess, or 1 Thes, is a book from the New Testament of the Christian Bible. The first letter to the Thessalonians was likely the first of Paul's letters, probably written by the end of AD 52, making it the oldest book in the New Testament. Composition Most New Testament scholars believe Paul the Apostle wrote this letter from Corinth. Although information appended to this work in many early manuscripts, e.g. Codices Alexandrinus, Most Quensis, and Angelicus, state that Paul wrote it in Athens after Timothy had returned from Macedonia with news of the state of the church in Thessalonica. For the most part, the letter is personal in nature, with only the final two chapters spent addressing issues of doctrine. Almost as an aside, Paul's main purpose in writing is to encourage and reassure the Christians there. Paul urges them to go on working quietly while waiting and hope for the return of Christ. Date Unlike all subsequent Pauline epistles, 1 Thessalonians does not focus on justification by faith or questions of Jewish, Gentile relations, themes that are covered in all other letters. Many scholars see this as an indication that this letter was written before the epistle to the Galatians, where Paul's positions on these matters were formed and elucidated. Authenticity The first page of the epistle in minuscule 699 gives its title as Rho, Sigma Theta Epsilon Sigma Sigma Alpha question mark, New Iota Kappa Epsilon Iota Sigma to the Thessalonians, quote, The majority of New Testament scholars hold 1 Thessalonians to be authentic, although a number of scholars in the mid-19th century contested its authenticity, most notably Clement Schrader and F. C. Bauer. It is perceived to be theologically incompatible with Paul's other epistles. Elsewhere Paul attributed Jesus' death to the rulers of this age rather than to the Jews. And elsewhere Paul writes that the Jews have not been abandoned by God, for all Israel will be saved. Rom 11, 26. According to 1 Thes 1, 10, the wrath of God is still to come. It is not something that has already shown itself. There were no extensive historical persecutions of Christians by Jews in Palestine prior to the First Jewish War. It is also sometimes suggested that 1 Thes 5, 1, 11 is a post-Pauline insertion that has many features of Luke and language and theology that serves as an apologetic correction to Paul's imminent expectation of the Second Coming in 1 Thes 4, 13, 18. Other scholars, such as Schmidels, have developed complicated theories involving redaction and interpolation in 1 and 2 Thessalonians. Audience Paul claimed the title of the Apostle to the Gentiles, and established Gentile churches in several important cities in the Roman Empire. According to Bart D. Ehrman, the Acts of the Apostles tells a different story of Paul's career. Contents Outline Text Paul, speaking for himself, Silas, and Timothy, gives thanks for the news about their faith and love. He reminds them of the kind of life he had lived while he was with them. Paul stresses how honorably he conducted himself, reminding them that he had worked to earn his keep, taking great pains not to burden anyone. He did this, he says, even though he could have used his status as an apostle to impose upon them. Paul goes on to explain that the dead will be resurrected prior to those still living, and both groups will greet the Lord in the air.